what stands out for me with someone like Dr. King is the ability to inspire. You can be afraid to do something, but courage is when you stand up and do it anyway. And he was able to do that. I always um, work with people, the best people. I never kind of looked at who they are, uh, what color, what race, or whatever. But I never went on to hire someone because they were of certain color or certain race or certain gender. Just like I don't want personally anyone giving me any kind of pass because I'm a woman or um, Asian or something like that. I just want to be treated for who I am. Collaboration in science is absolutely critical, especially in dealing with healthcare disparities that currently exist in society. So the collaboration is important to bring multiple perspectives and, and in fact, for me it's to, you know, just to, again and again it proves there's more than one way to do a thing right. I'm a PhD research scientist, so I know how to do experiments, <laughs> but I can't see patients. Some of the most fruitful collaborations are those with, uh, between medical doctors and the research scientists. And that is what, one of the things that brought me here to MCW. Dr. Kadambi and I have realized that there is a disparity in healthcare outcomes for African American relative to Caucasians on the issue of hypertension. She sees the patients and can collect samples and we can do the analysis. Precision medicine means tailoring outcomes to individuals and we certainly can't conduct scientific trials while looking at only one group. Most of my research has been on African Americans. I think the science is taking me where the most answers need to be derived. As a scientist, I'm very interested and curious about uh, the disparities in healthcare outcomes. I'm actually quite surprised that it hasn't been addressed more aggressively in the past. Nevertheless, it's being discussed and addressed here, and I really appreciate that that is uh, one of the top priorities at MCW, to have a, a much more representative demographic uh, on campus and work with the population in Milwaukee. But what happened in our study is our, our subjects went and told other subjects once they're done. So we have a great mixture. We actually have 50% African American and 50% white, and we have 50% women. I mean, that speaks to how we handle our subjects and how we uh, take care of them. And I think we are very proud of that. When you come from a different country, I mean, I grew up in India, you know, that's all you had seen, right? Then you come in and now you have people from 10 other countries that are doing residency with you. They all have the same aspirations. And in the end, you come out as that, oh my God, they're all just like me.